Hello people of the internet, I decided to make an emo transformation video because I know apparently over the internet a lot of people are doing like how to be emo and like transformation and stuff. I just wanted to do something different. So that's, that's, that's what I'm going to be doing. I think I should know how to do this because I have been called emo. I did not like it, but I was. But anyway, we're all still ourselves, no matter what we look like. I mean, seriously, ha have you seen me? Let's just, let's just get into this. First, for the makeup portion of this, you're going to need some foundation. I was using this, and this brush, I'm just going to smear that over my face, especially on this pimple right here. Let's, let's cover that thing up. What happens when you break out, man? It happens because I'm um, just a teenager. And we break out, and since we're girls, well, I'm a girl, I cover up all my flaws with makeup when I should be embracing my flaws. But you know what? I'm a normal teenager, I guess. Embrace your flaws. I got that in my hair. Let's just... Yeah, I'm just gonna use some concealer. Gotta put this underneath my eyes, over my eyelids, and pretty much over my face, because it's light, and maybe it'll make my skin light. So let's just... Gonna put this pimple. Just want to be flawless. It's so hard to ask. And then you just want to uh, rub all that in. I'll just. I'll be back. Now I'm just going to take a small uh, blush brush and some white eyeshadow and put that all over my face because a lot of emo people are pale. So, just want to make yourself pale with a white eyeshadow. Okay, this is going to take forever. I'll be back when I'm done. I'm just going to take that same white and a brush and put that on my eyelids. And I, I need a mirror, so. Okay, now it's time for the eyeshadow. I know I have tape on my face when I'm doing that thing where you put tape on your eyes and it makes a really nice uh, clean edge. Oh look, there's a cat outside. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, the camera, 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 yeah. It's going to take some of this uh, black right here, this brush, and put that on my eyelid. I'll be back when I'm done. So after I did that, I'm going to take some uh, grays. It doesn't really matter what because they're all basically the same exact shade. I'm just going to uh, blend that in a bit, you know, make it look a bit nicer. So I'm just going to uh, do that.
basically just trying to blend everything. Okay, it's time to uh, peel the tape off. Ready for the magic? You know, never believe it's not so. Okay. So let's go to it. Look at this. Not that bad, okay? I have done worse. I could have blended this out a bit more. And now, as we all know, a lot of emo people like eyeliner. I love eyeliner. Like, seriously, I, I love it. I'm just going to uh, use uh, this Wet n Wild eyeliner here. And I'm just going to line my eyelids. Ouch. Okay, I'm not going to use this one because it hurts and it pokes my eye. So, where is it? Here, I'm just going to use this CoverGirl one. It actually has a smudge thing at the end, so you can just like, smudge it into your eyeshadow. Okay. Back when I'm done with my top eyeliner. So I am done with the eyeliner. I also did my waterline and up top. So I actually, I, I personally kind of like this. Like, seriously, I used to wear eyeliner a lot, but then you know, I was like, oh my god, Lily, you are a raccoon. It's like, yeah, well, maybe I want to be a raccoon. Maybe I like being a raccoon. Maybe I like how I look. Maybe you should just, yeah. Anyway, it's time for the mascara. I'm, I think I'm also going to do like bottom mascara too, so let's just. Uh, okay, I need a mirror. I'm just gonna use this. So much better. Have my my bottom eyelashes have finally grown so I can finally do bottom mascara. I'm so happy. Cause before they were really short and couldn't do all this. And now I can't. It's cool. Okay. Got mascara on my finger. Okay. I'm sorry, I keep saying okay a lot. Oh, I'll try to stop. Okay, so that is it for the eye portion. And I just need my lip sticks. Okay. So, I'm going to do a dark red mixed with a purple. So I'm just going to uh, put this dark red on. I love the color dark red. I don't know why I just do. Okay, so I have that. When you f when you think the top is actually the opening, then you put the lipstick in. And I, I did that. I'm just gonna take a bit of purple, put it in the middle. Mix that together. And then, my red look with lipstick. I'm just going to take a bit of this red. Oh, so beautiful. Let's just uh, enjoy this moment. Beautiful. I'm just going to dab a little bit on and mix it together. Perfect. Just perfect. 
And now we are done with the hair and we have to move on. Wait, no, we're done with the makeup and now we have to move on to the hair. Jeez. I'm sorry this video is so long. It's it's almost over. I really didn't think it was gonna be this long, I'm sorry. So I've seen a lot of people just uh, I usually do this. For me it really doesn't take that long, so all I have to do is like do my part. I think eventually, sometime next time I get my hair cut, um, I'm going to get like a fringe maybe, if my mom lets me. I've been telling her that like I really want a fringe and then I also really want to like dye my hair an ombre purple, like dark purple fanged lavender or just like a straight up lavender because I love that color. Like the color of this lipstick right here. I, whew, I love that color. I don't know why. A lot of people tease their hair but I have a lot of hair so I don't need to do that. But this is the final product. I hope you like this video. I'm sorry it was so long and yeah. Bye. Like if you actually kind of like how I look. I might um look like this more often. Bye.